Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 1, Episode 1, Once Upon a Time. And to be honest with you, I don't remember much at all. I saw it right around the time it had come out. The reason I don't remember where I've ended is because I watched it with an ex-girlfriend who was caught up. And when I started dating her, Season 3, I believe, was starting... So the two of us marathon season one and two on Netflix or whatever the heck it was. My sister has reacted to it in full. Every single season, including the Wonderland season. There might be other things too. I can't remember exactly. I might even be wrong about that. I've only seen a few. I remember what I saw being great. I am a massive fan of Disney. If you guys know my channel, you'll see things all around. I also didn't know what to wear, so I figured let me wear my Doctor Who Tigger shirt. A little bit of Disney in there, and also we are starting season three of Doctor Who. I figured throw that in there. You guys interested? There's hundreds of other shows and movies on Patreon. There's a link in the description. But as far as this... I remember certain things. Like, I remember the lead girl was the girl from House. I don't remember her name. But in the show, I believe it was, like, Becca, maybe? Becca sounds familiar. I have not looked at IMDb. You guys know me. Usually I go and I research a little. But I figured, having seen what I have of this show, I retained enough to remember certain things, so there's no need to recap, because I want to relive the experience. I also remember specifically binge watching it and falling asleep and missing certain things here and there. So there's a lot of things I might have completely missed. There are probably lots of things I've forgotten. And there are some things that I probably just didn't even see because sometimes I would just put a show on. I remember doing this with like Supernatural and I uh, Lucifer, stuff like that, where I would just put it on and I'd kind of be like doing errands, running in and out of the room, but like stopping like, okay, I understand what's going on now. And then if I'm like really lost, I'll rewind or fast forward or something. But I honestly don't remember much of what I did see and what I would have remembered. So either way, I remember Becca, I believe was her name. I could be totally wrong. We're going to find out. But I remember something about her going into a town and the town was story wood or something. This I'm just going to spitball it because then we're going to start. I think it was like story wood or story land. She drove through what is like an invisible barrier, kind of like Eureka, maybe. I don't remember exactly how that was handled, but I feel like they drove down a road and you like kind of just went into story book land, storybook world, storybook land. I mean, if you guys have seen Eureka, I feel like it's very similar. I've said this before, but then there was a kid, Henry, I believe his name was, and it was her kid, maybe. I feel like it was her kid. And then I remember Snow White and Prince Charming and a lot of Disney characters. I remember Snow White being like a big deal. It was like the darker haired girl. She was in something else I can't remember. And I remember the dude who played Prince Charming was the dude from Manifest. Because I have seen some of Manifest. Manifest is another one. That's a good example. I kind of started watching it and then it kind of just ran while I was half asleep and I would randomly wake up and see parts and be like, what the hell is going on? And I never really went back and figured it out. And there's still a lot of manifest I haven't caught up on. I know there's like a season four part two starting soon, but let's just jump in. You guys let me know what you think. If you want me to run with this, I'm going to see if while I'm away tomorrow, if my sister can edit this up, if she does, you might get it on YouTube. But if it's not, it will be on Patreon. If enough people on Patreon want it and I get one up over there, maybe we'll run with it. I'm sort of doing it as a test run because I haven't ever done a show that I've kind of seen before. Like there's a lot of shows I've started and I haven't finished. And this is one of them. And being as my sister just completed it in full, I figured I'll do that and she could edit it up and... We'll see what we're at. So you guys want to see more of what I do in the description of every video is a link for Patreon. You'll see these up in full if we ran with it. There's probably way ahead at this point. Doctor Who, Peaky Blinders, Person of Interest, Legend of Korra, Death Note, hundreds of other shows and movies all over there in full unedited. If not, Once Upon a Time, Season 1, Episode 1. Once Upon a Time, I got that kicked right in. One day, they found themselves trapped in a place where all of their happy endings were stolen. Our world. No! They have such great music. That song. Please let me say goodbye. Is it like a Sleeping Beauty slash Snow White scenario? Truthfully, I do. Look at that uh, hair. That is some husband. wild frizzy hair. 
wasting your time. You've already lost. But I will not let you ruin this wedding. I shall destroy your happiness. Wonderful. You're a joyous, optimistic person, clearly. Hey! Yassi! Where'd it go, though? What if it hit, like, four old ladies behind her? You take credit cards? Where to, Chief? I do enjoy her as an as an actress. I used to love House. Obsessed with House. And now stop me if I get this wrong. Embezzled from your employer, got arrested, and skipped town before they were able to throw your ass in jail. Your bail bondsman. Bail bonds person. Look at this crazy. What hell do you know about family, huh? What do you know about family? Oh, now you're gonna die. Now you just died. I don't know if anybody's seen one of those before. That's called a boot. One of my exes who lived in Hoboken. People would illegally park, you get a boot thrown on. And here she is celebrating her birthday. Another banner year. And here's Henry. Are you Emma Swan? Yeah. Yeah. Emma Swan. My name's Henry. I'm her son. I don't have a son. Where are your parents? Wait, please don't call the cops. Where's home? Storybrook, Maine. Alrighty then. Storybrook, Maine. Let's get you back to Storybrook. I knew it was like Story something. So clearly Henry knows. Henry came all the way here. When we reached the south. Somehow he is seeing Rumpelstiltskin. You want to know about the Queen's threat? Tell us what you know. Oh, it's going to cost you something in return. No, this is a waste of time. What do you want? The name of your unborn child? Absolutely not. Deal. The name? What do you know? The queen has created a powerful curse. No more happy endings. What no can we do? Endings. We can do anything. That little thing growing inside your belly. Get the child to safety and on its 28th birthday, the child will find you. And the final battle will begin. <laughs> My God. I love the insanity of him. What's her name? Emma. Her name is Emma. The evil queen sent a bunch of fairy tale characters here. Yeah, and now they're trapped. So that's a shrink. I'm not crazy. What? Oh. Our only hope of saving that child. Me and my boy, we can do it. Pinocchio. This will work. We all must have faith. Is that Fifty Shades, dude? You're Henry's birth mother? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Fifty Shades, dude. Henry's peeking. Yeah, I feel like Regina knows. Oh, and it's a wolf. Oh, what's happening here? There's Grumpy keeping watch. Swigging his whiskey. Oh, that's not good. We have a guest. There's so you are, uh, Geppetto. Is he custodian? How lovely for him to have you back in his life. Finding people is what I do. Here's an idea. How about you guys let me out and I'll help you find him. Mary Margaret Blanchard. Who's Mary Margaret Blanchard? Henry's teacher. Oh, know? it's her. This is for them, not us. Beautiful blue color, my God. Where's my son? Henry, I assumed he was homesick with you. I should never have given him that book. What in the hell is this book I keep hearing about? Just some old stories I gave him. Oh, yeah. Have a nice trip back to Boston. Yo, go pick that shit up. He wrestles with that most basic question they all inevitably face. Why would anyone give me away? Oh, I am so sorry. Oh my god. She is riding in with a storm that is coming from every angle. Find us. Yeah. Oh. Oh, but she's gone, right? Ah, uh, she's gone. And he died? Did the curse save him? Can you cut it with the book crap? You don't have to be hostile. I know you like me, I could tell. I you don't have to be hostile. You wanted to give me my best chance. And that's what Snow White said. The same reason Snow White gave you away. 
Boom. That's the unique head. The wardrobe. When you went through the wardrobe, you appeared in the street. Your parents are trying to save you from the curse. But that sounds crazy. That sounds like mm -hmm. the dreams of somebody that wants a better memory of that part of their life. No. I want to know how he's fixed. No. Do they make a deal or something? Is it like a kiss brings it back to life? In a few moments, you won't remember you knew him. She's got a great veiny, angry head face. Okay. Where is she? Vein shoot up she the middle. Away. A place where the only happy ending will be mine. Consumed by darkness. In 108. My only question um, is, does she remember? And I feel like she does. You. <laughs> Don't mistake all this as an invitation back into his life. Oh. Miss Swan, you made a decision 10 years ago. You may have given birth to him, but he is my son. I was No, you don't get to speak. You have no legal right to Henry, and you're going to be held to that. Because if you don't, I will destroy you if it is the last thing I do. <laughs> For someone whose son ran away, tracked down his birth mother and dragged her here. Very you aggressive. Love him? Of course I love him. She remembers. That's why she's being so angry. She's remembering. Look at her face. Oh! I think Prince Charming's like a John Doe. Maybe he was still alive, so he went into a coma. Yes, he is. And Henry's grandfather? Henry's waiting for something to happen. Oh, is it the tick of the clock? It was 8.15. Was it like the exact time on her birthday? Maybe it was, it was nighttime. It was dark out. I'm sorry that my heart attack interfered with your plans to sleep your way down the Eastern seaboard. Emma Swan. Hmm. Emma. It's all here. Thank you. And I think Rumpelstiltskin remembers. He owns this place. The inn? No. The town. Just a week. Great. Welcome to Storybrooke. We're here. The Tick, 8.15. He waited for it. All right, guys, that's it for episode one, season one. So far, we haven't really established how you get in and out of it. Right now, it seems like just a town. Besides all that, I'm trying to remember the characters. I thought that was Jiminy Cricket in the beginning. It was. I second-guessed myself. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure that's Jiminy Cricket. Then I thought about it, and I'm like, wait, is it Jiminy Cricket? And it was Jiminy Cricket. But that is Henry's shrink. Then we got Regina, who is the evil queen. She did a spell that apparently put everybody into Storybrooke land. And 28 years later, the child of Snow White and Prince Charming comes back to Storybrooke land and the ultimate war starts. So obviously Emma went away for 28 years. It is interesting hearing a abandoned child because Henry feels like he was abandoned. We know actually... I was going to say, we know what happens, but technically Emma did willingly give her child up for adoption. There wasn't any sort of thing that happened with Snow White and Prince Charming where she had to get rid of her child in epic fashion to save his life or something. She's just looking at it like, I think you had a better chance not being with me. It's comparative to what Snow White said, but Snow White was literally saving her child from a cursed kingdom. So either way, I ain't going to tell people how to live their lives. She gives Henry up for adoption. Henry then goes with Regina. I have to assume Regina has a memory of all this, unless it's just coincidence. I don't remember that part, to be honest with you. But I have to assume she remembers. Look at the way her face was, and she hugged that book. She knew something was up. She was way too aggressive with Emma to not have some kind of knowledge of what is going on. She probably wants her out of here ASAP so that the curse is not foiled, but she ends up going to Red Riding Hood and Grandma's house. That's got to be the grandma from the Big Bad Wolf because it's Red Riding Hood, so that's the grandma, obviously, right? Or is that something else? I feel like at some point they might combine things, maybe. But right now, everything seems to be on the surface. We had Grumpy in prison. We have geppetto doing what looks like a mechanic type job which would make sense because he built the wardrobe he's a woodworker so maybe he works on cars and he was watching the prison so we saw the sheriff who is 50 shades of gray i forget who he is is he the woodsman or something maybe possibly and then we saw a wolf run out into the road. I don't know there's a lot of things i don't remember a lot of things i do remember but the major parts i don't like i don't remember how she was able to do the curse what exactly went down? Why is Prince Charming in a coma and not dead when he appeared to be dead? He had to have been barely clinging to life and maybe the curse saved him potentially. But they threw the wardrobe, or threw the wardrobe, 
threw Emma in it and Geppetto created it. And we saw Pinocchio. We saw a bunch of characters. I'm going to go edit this up or I'm going to ask my sister if she'll love to edit this up. Get it out there. Throw this up on Patreon. We'll see what you guys think. You guys want to see more of what I do. Full on edited episodes. All the shows on the channel. Seasons out of what you're seeing in the description of every video is a link for Patreon. You'll see these upwards of 12 to 15 shows a week. Check the link. Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Legend of Korra, Death Note, Steven Universe, hundreds of shows and movies. Check the link. Full on edited. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.